if you're using a pillow or a bolster today, I invite you to grab it at this time. Press your big toes together, separate your knees wide apart, hip hinge forward onto your bolster and take your gaze to the right. Close your eyes as in this restorative yoga session, each posture is held for a few minutes. The first question I want you to ask yourself is, are you getting enough sleep? Note that during today's yoga practice, you're only collecting data in regard to these questions. You're not judging yourself. But I want you to be honest with yourself. Are you getting enough sleep during your grieving process? If not, what can you do to increase the amount of sleep you're getting? On your next breath, turn your gaze to the opposite direction. How are your eating habits? Are you eating? If you're not eating, can you prepare yourself a meal and just set it in front of you and go at your pace? If you're eating unhealthy or putting food into your body that's not serving you, can you ask a loved one for help? Maybe say, hey, can you help prepare my dinners or lunches in advance so I can nourish my body, so I can start feeling good in my body? Turn your gaze to the center of your yoga bolster and rest your forehead on the bolster. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Are you taking this time to relax? What is it that helps you relax? Is it a book, a gentle walk outside, a bath? Only you know what can help you relax. Drag your hands down towards your underarms and on your next breath, firmly press into the ground and lift yourself up and off of your support prop. Take a moment, go slow, remove your prop out of the way, curl your toes under, come to hands and knees. Inhale, puff up the back, cat. Exhale, lower the belly, cow. Take just a few rounds. Notice that your knees are hip width distance apart. Your hands are hip width distance apart. One breath with one movement. Just bringing some blood flow to the body after holding your postures for a few minutes. And if you're using yoga blocks today, grab them at this time. One on each side of your yoga mat. Lower down slowly, firmly press into all four corners of the feet and place the yoga blocks under your legs in order to support this posture. In restorative yoga, you don't want to go too far. You want to feel supported and relaxed. This is a time to turn your awareness inward. So close your eyes. Have you started a journal to the loved one you lost? Personally, I write in a daily stoic journal and my counselor suggested that I start journaling to my daughter. I call it Dear Danny. Have you began, have you begun to write letters to the, your loved one? It can be healing. Bring your awareness to the present moment. Visualize your loved one. Attach to a happy memory. Lower your hands down. 
bring your legs together very slowly. Remove your blocks to the side. Step your feet wide apart. Lower your knees to the right and then lower your knees to the left. Take a few rounds of windshield wipe. Bring a little bit of space to your hips. Remember, this is your yoga practice where you're working on you. So be gentle with yourself. The most important thing is you showed up for you. And it can be very hard just rolling out your yoga mat and getting here. Come to a comfortable seated position. Draw your hands to heart center. And always, always commend yourself for making time for you. If you need to rewatch this video, I highly encourage you to do so at this time.